Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and this time we are going to talk about Metaphor Refantasio. That is correct. I just started playing the game yesterday. Um, so I did about eight hours of the game. So that was, I did my first stream and I played a good portion of the, um, I played a good portion of the, uh, the story so far, the, the initial part of the story, uh, did a, a good portion of the combat experience the combat system uh, the turn-based combat system did a little bit of social bonding took part in like took, took a look around the social calendar and you know the archetypes and you know took a, took took a good look at the stuff around the game right so what i can say so this is this is from my first stream yesterday so what i can say is like this game truly feels amazing uh and yeah just like any other persona game from atlas so this game is also by published by atlas this time but developed by studio zero um so it still draws a lot of similarities from persona games so in terms of the social bonding the combat mechanics um the personas quote unquote persona like um magic whatever you want to call it stuff you find around here so it still has a lot of things that draws from persona but at the same time it is its own unique universe so think of it is like a, a very heavy persona spin-off, but set in its own universe, right? It's not in personas, it's not in a persona universe. So yeah, I mean like my initial impressions of the game, it's it's it feels really good, right? The story feels really good, the characters feel really good, the dialogue feels really good, the combat's the combat feels good, the explore the exploring feels really good. Everything about the game feels really good so far and um so it is truly deserving it's uh you know game of the year nomination and it is also nominated in a bunch of other categories so this feels like a solid 9 10 game just like black myth wukong just like final fantasy 7 rebirth yeah so it feels a really solid game um so yeah it truly deserves its nomination and what i can say is um so from my initial impressions what i can say is this as well um the dialogue is what really sets it apart and i think i feel this way because i just came i just started playing this game right after finishing dragon age the veil card so seeing the dialogue and i've already made my i've already said my points right about how all about like i've already stated all my issues with the dialogue in in dragon age veil card right so given that you know this i feel like the dialogue in this game in metaphor is just super strong right it just sets the tone right it gives you the serious tone of the nature it the interaction the way they speak the mannerisms the interaction between the companions feels very organic very authentic and and that and the way they speak is also is very suited for a medieval fantasy world right unlike that you find unlike the modern dialogue you find in dragon age uh, whale god so because of that like it feels very natural and uh, at the same time you know the interaction between the companions is very memorable it does have it does hit on a bit of humor but it still maintains the serious tone of the game right it does not make it too cringy or anything like that so uh, nothing feels out of the out of the ordinary so because of that like i feel like this is like this this is good for anyone who's trying to enjoy an rpg game right this is what it really needs so in so other than that there's nothing else much i can go on because i still not have played a good portion of the game i still have not progressed enough in the game to say much so this is what i initially feel like and uh, i would say this as well right uh, the game currently is quite expensive right it's like 60 bucks uh, 70 uh, euros in the europe um so what i would say is this like i would say like you guys should play this game yourself so black friday uh, is just here and then maybe next year prices will drop uh, so we'll just have to see how it goes. So I would say wait and try and get the game and play it for yourselves, right? Don't watch my videos. Don't watch anyone's videos. I would really want you guys to enjoy and play the game yourself and experience the story. For those of you who like RPG games and truly want to experience a really good story, I would say this feels like a really good story and I would say just play it and experience it for yourself. That said, if you guys want to watch videos on YouTube or anywhere else, that's fine. It's up to you guys. But I would say experiencing this game yourselves is is the best right because i feel like i really i feel like very captivated by this game so far 
and I feel like you guys will be captivated by it, by it as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I have nothing else more to say. I probably my opinions might change over the course of the game. Maybe certain things feel repetitive. Maybe certain things might feel daunting later on, or dragging. Maybe I don't know, but we'll see how it goes, right? So yeah. Uh, so do share your thoughts as well if you guys have played the game as well or if you guys have started playing the game or are thinking about starting playing the game as well let me know if you guys think about let me know what you guys think if you guys have any thoughts to share but initially i feel like the game feels really good just like any other persona game it starts off very well it sets you it sets the tone really it sets the stone quite strong as well so you feel like you want to play the game more rather than forcing yourself to play the game so yeah i, I feel like a lot of people can enjoy playing this game so yeah, I'll uh, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. Hopefully, everything else goes well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next live stream or video. Till next time, then bye bye.